Hi students! Welcome to our discussion on the vital topic of consumer health components. This lesson encompasses a variety of elements that collectively influence an individual's health and well-being. From understanding nutrition labels and making informed dietary choices to navigating healthcare services, consumer health is a broad field that plays a vital role in our daily lives. Let's delve deeper into these components and unravel how they shape our health decisions and outcomes. Now let's define what is consumer health. Consumer health is not just about buying health products and services. It is also about making decisions and having a clear and deeper understanding to make wise choices. So consumer health is about how we make choices related to our health and wellness. It's like being a smart shopper, but instead of buying clothes or gadgets, we're making decisions about things like foods we eat, the exercise we do, and even how we deal with stress. It also involves understanding health information and services like knowing what's in the medicine we take or how to use insurance. Consumer health has three components, health information, health products, and health services. Now let's go deeper into these three. First is health information. So Health information uh, plays a vital role or a big role in the life of individuals. It gives details that people can use to make informed decisions about their health and of others. So, health information is any concept or step or advice that various sources give to aid the health status of an individual. So the type of information varies depending on various considerations such as, but not limited to, health history, drugs and alcohol consumption, and eating disorder. So health information is a part of consumer health and it's like a guidebook to your well-being. So it's all the stuff you need to know to to make a smart health choices so this could be understanding what's written on medicine bottle knowing how much sleep you should get or even learning how exercise affects your body so it's about having the right information to make the best decision for your health so all information about the health products are included in this area as well. So it gives the materials used in manufacturing the product, the date, the uses, expirations, and even the cautions. So people acquire information and products from various sources such as authorized persons, media, and technology. So it's essential to identify the reliability of these sources. Next, we have some reliable sources of information. First is medical and, me and health professionals, of course. These include family and school doctors, dentists, nurses, health science educators. Second is government agencies like the Department of Health, Food and Drug Administration, Bureau of Food and Drugs, and the Department of Trade and Industry. Third is websites ending in gov, edu, and org. So these websites are like the legit ones. Fourth is local health informations or local health officials. And fifth is educational institutions like schools. So we also have some unreliable sources of health information. So we should be careful with this. First is the outdated customs, practices, and superstitions without scientific basis. Uh, second is information based on ignorance and prejudice. Third is commercialized health information. Fourth is personal options and incomplete information. And fifth is quack or suedo healers. 
So, knowing reliable sources of health information is like having a compass in the journey of health and wellness. So, it guides us to make informed decisions, helps us avoid misconceptions, and ultimately leads us towards a healthier lifestyle. So, it's an essential skill in consumer health, empowering us to take control of our well-being. So, let, so uh, let's just, uh, continue to seek our uh, and share reliable health information because when it comes to our health, there's no room for guesswork. So we have here guide questions or criteria in assessing health information. So the following questions are uh, the things to consider before buying health products or availing of health services. So first, you have to ask what. So what are the available details of the product? Are the details updated? Are the side effects specified? What is the purpose of the health information? Second question you need to ask yourself is who? So from whom is the health information? Is this information confirmable? And third is what else? So is there an option where customers can give feedback, suggestions, and receive the needed answers? Next, we go to the second component of consumer uh, health is health products. So what is health products? So health products are food, drugs, cosmetics, devices, biologicals, vaccines, uh, in vitro diagnostic reagents, household or urban hazardous substances, and or a combination of and or a derivative thereof. Uh, der- derivative thereof. So this... Uh, definition is from the FDA Act of 2009. So these products uh, may be purchased from various places like supermarkets, pharmacies, and hospitals. So examples are eyeglasses, appliances, medicines, grooming aids, cars, and different more. Third component we have is healthcare service. So healthcare service or healthcare services refer to the furnishing of medicines, medical or surgical treatments, nursing, hospital service, and dental service, uh, optometric service, and complementary health services. So these are often connected to healthcare. So these programs aim to appraise the health conditions of individuals through screening and examinations, cure and treat disorders, prevent and control the spread of diseases, uh, provide safety, uh, emergency care, and first aid, and ensure a follow-up program for individuals who have undergone treatment. So examples are uh, medical and dental consultation and treatment, um, services for beauty parlors and barber shops and more. So here are the guidelines on the purchase of goods and services. First, you should evaluate which products and services will be beneficial, harmful, or useless. Second is know the local laws and regulations that protect consumers. Third is locate dependable medical, dental, and nursing services and apply knowledge acquired with respect to a personal and environmental health in the purchase of personal goods and services. Here are some tips on how to be a wise consumer. So first, you need to gather correct sufficient information so get as much information by reading the details critically on the the nutritional quality of the food be aware that being knowledgeable of the laws will protect you as a consumer second is compare and contrast details of available products so compare and contrast the products and services available before you purchase so judge for yourself which among the products are most effective So you can use the question in assessing the health information as your initial guide. Third is inquire for more and review if possible. So ask direct questions from sales personnel if things about the product are not clear to you before buying it. So clarifying things will make you more confident as a consumer. And you can also get some information from the other consumers regarding uh, the product. 
So remember that health services are usually offered by healthcare providers. A healthcare provider is a trained professional who provides people with healthcare. So healthcare providers. Health services are offered again by health service providers. So there are three types of healthcare uh, providers. So as follows, we have uh, first the health professionals. So these are individuals who are licensed to practice medicine and other uh, health programs and work in the med- medical profession. Examples are doctors, nurses, nutritionists. Second is healthcare facilities. These are the places or institutions that offer healthcare services. Examples are hospitals, walk in surgery centers, health centers, extended healthcare facilities. And the third and last is the health insurance. So it is a financial agreement between an insurance company and an individual or group for the payment of healthcare costs. So Uh, Most example of healthcare insurance we have here in the Philippines is the PhilHealth or the Philippine Insurance Corporation. So let's discuss about the Philippine Insurance Corporation or PhilHealth. So PhilHealth is a government-owned and controlled corporation created through Republic Act 7875, also known as the National Health Insurance of, or Act of 1995. So it aims to provide health insurance coverage for all Filipinos and ensure affordable, acceptable, available, and accessible health care services for all citizens of the Philippines. Uh, this is from... The learner's material on the Philippine Health Insurance Corporation uh, definition. Next is the vision statement of PhilHealth is Bawat Pilipino miembro, bawat miembro protectado, kalusugan ng lahat protectado. So PhilHealth ensures that every Filipino is a member by covering them under different memberships program which are categorized according to various sectors of our society. So here, let's discover the classifications of PhilHealth members. We have employed or members in the formal employees. So employees who can avail this type of uh, PhilHealth membership are employees in the government and private sectors, household helpers, family drivers, owners of small, medium, and large enterprises. So how to, intro- how to enroll? The respective employers should enroll members. Next classification, we have employed or members in the informal con- economy. So these are workers who are not covered by formal con- contracts and whose premium contributions are self-paid or subsidized. Uh, also, migrant workers, documented and undocumented OFW, workers uh, sea base and land base informal sectors like street hawkers market vendors pedicab and tricycle drivers small construction workers and home base industries also who can avail this uh, filipino with dual citizenship naturalized filipino citizen citizens of other countries and are residing in the philippines and you can enroll if you're classified with this uh, philhealth membership Uh, Persons who are under the uh, informal economy should apply for membership. Next is uh, indigent members. So people who have no visible means of income as identified by the Department of Social Welfare and Development based on specific criteria. So the national government tasks the TSWD to facilitate their enrollment. Another is sponsored members. So members whose premium contributions are paid for by another individual, government agency, or private entity. So orphans, abandoned and abused minors, out-of-school youths, persons with disabilities, battered women under DSWD custody, barangay health workers, barangay tanods, and other barangay workers and volunteers. Next one, we have lifetime member, those who have reached the age of retirement and have made 120 monthly contributions. So they need to apply for membership to qualify under this category. 
Uh, last but not the least are the senior citizens. So, so elderly who are not covered under the National Health Insurance Program. So they need to apply for uh, membership to qualify under this category. So once enrolled under PhilHealth, a member should de declare his or her legal dependence. So they can also be extended the same health care protection and benefits as part uh, as that of the principal member. So I think that's all for our topic in this lesson. So summary from all our from all the topics that we discuss. So consumer health refers to the decisions you make about the purchase and use of health information, products, and services that will have a direct effect on your health. So it has three components, namely health information, health products, and healthcare services. So criteria and guidelines must be considered when availing health service or product. Details of the product, sources of information, feedback mechanism, and some of the things to be considered. As a wise consumer, you should be able to gather information, compare available products, and inquire for, for more so all doubts will be erased. And health professionals, health facilities, and insurance are the three types of health providers. One type of insurance is PhilHealth. So I think that's our topic for this lesson. So remember that understanding the components of consumer health is like having a roadmap to navigate our health and wellness journey. So these components such as uh, health information, health services, and health products are a guide, uh, are the guide or guides our uh, daily decisions from where we eat to how we manage stress. So knowing these components helps us make informed decisions that protect and improve our health. So it also empowers us to avoid harmful practices, misleading information, and unnecessary expenses. So in essence, understanding consumer health equips us with the knowledge and skills to take care of our own health. And that ends our topic for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something.